Hello guys, I'm Render Tom, and this is a quick demo video for Cinema 4D plugin Slice It Up. Once you install the plugin to appropriate location, you can access it via Plugins Slice It Up. Now, for the plugin to work, we need to give it a spline object that can be any kind of a spline as long as it's a closed one. But for demo purposes, I'm gonna choose a circle spline and drop it in spline object right here. Poof. By default, the plugin slices your spline into 10 equal pieces, but why to stop here? Let's choose, let's say, 50. Oh, there we go. And we can always change this on the fly. This is so procedural that it breaks my heart. All right, so let's leave it at 10 right now. Uh, in case we want to have random width slices, so that's the checkbox. There we go. We can always enable or disable it. Easy. In case we want to have different seats, so that's the button. Go nuts with it. Container mode, I will explain it a little bit later. Invert container checkbox does what it says, so instead of slicing your spline object, it will slice the bounding box, or the container, so to speak. Uh, th this option might give some interesting results, so I left it there. Alright, moving along. Slice position linear x. We'll move your slices in x direction. Uh, let's disable circle for now. Let's guide it. Uh, awesome. A linear Y will move slices in Y direction in a linear way. Z will do the same, but in Z space. Easy. Random X will move on X direction, but with some randomness. Random Y will move on Y direction, also with some randomness. And Z the same. Now let's jump to front view. Like this. And there we go. Let's enable X and give some randomness. There we go. We can play with a random seat. Go nuts. All right, same goes for Y direction. Do it like this. Poof, 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 poof. Easy, easy. It's so procedural. Yeah, this is beautiful. All right, so angle defines the angle of the slice. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, expansion. It shrinks or it expands the mask. If we enable random width, some slices will dissipate faster than the others. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, if you go and try to render this one, well, we see only black screen. Uh, that's because it's a spline generator. We need to add extrude nerves and make slice it up a child of it like this and don't forget to enable hierarchical and there we go that's the way the slice it up works beautiful all right let's take a moment to talk about the container mode by default it's set to adaptive and this is a really good mode it doesn't introduce any clipping it doesn't generate any unnecessary geometry however if we take a look at the width of the slice on angle 0 and take a look at the width of the slice at 90 degrees, well, you see the difference. This is because the container is trying to cover the entire shape of your spline. So that's what's happening. Alright, let's take a look at square mode. Slices cover entire shape. Uh, the width of the slice does not change depending on the angle. And we don't get any clipping, that's awesome. However, on some angles we might be getting some empty slices, though rendering unnecessary geometry, like here. If we disable the invert container, those slices are there, but they are empty. Alright. And the last one is circle mode. The width of the spline does not change depending on the angle. However, we are getting some clippings right here on the corners. And we are losing information. So the circle mode works perfectly with Circle spline. Take a look. Like this. Oof. If we change the angle, no clipping. And the width of the spline is equal. While slice it up is fast and will work with any kind of a closed spline, we will throw at it. Sometimes we will be getting some weird looking geometry like this. Let me show you. There we go. This happens when the mask spline is intersecting the point on your spline. To be honest, there is no perfect solution for this, but changing the number of slices, or changing the random seed, or even 
uh, lowering down the expansion might help. However, this is not the best workaround, but sometimes it gets the job done. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, cheers!